So it's George Godfrey with Jaguar Shoes, and today I am talking to Lucy and Jose from Partner. How's it going, guys? Going great. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming on. We're still in lockdown. Like, like, has it has it sort of helped you sort of crack on with writing, or or have you been sort of shying away and watching Netflix? Um, I have been just doing both, um, and it's like it's accelerated my creativity in a lot of ways because. For me, it was really helpful just to narrow it down to actually having to work with what's in front of you instead of just imagining all the possibilities and what you could have and what you should have and then having all that mental energy. It's just actually such a cool creative tool to set, have some kind of limitations. So I found it just pushed me through to a new level. Nice. How about you, Lucy? Largely the same way. Um, like, yeah, it's definitely having less options is opening up more options kind of we're learn we're perfecting skills that we've never had the time to perfect before so. such as <laughs> such as like having a routine i realized that like i'm just rushing through everything but my girlfriend pointed out she was like you never have had this time for like the mm. past five years i'm just operating as though i'm like about to take off in two weeks to some yeah like, like okay. <laughs> I never had my backpack until COVID-19 happened. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to be back at some point, I guess, with album two. Like, how's how's this sort of affected that for you? Has it put the brakes on it a little bit? Mm, I would say no, because, like, we got album two wrapped up before all this stuff happened. So okay. it's definitely affecting the rollout of, like, the creative process. Yeah, that's cool. Cause and it I'll... will affect our next album, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, from what we've heard so far, there's there's good place to hide, which is an absolute banger. Like, well done. <laughs> thank you. Awesome, thank you. Uh, do you think that, I don't know, like, I don't want to pick too much into the song because some people like to have a bit of mystery about the music, but what were you sort of inspired by when you came to write that? Or what did you want to say when you were sort of putting pen to paper? <laughs> yeah. Um... So we actually, like, we had a pretty um, clear idea of what we were talking about. We were kind of talking about, yeah, how much do we want to reveal in the name of our artistic secrecy? Oh, I mean, like, I think the song, the song is built from just a lot of, like, different piece, pieces. Like, so there's the first thing, which is, like, the good place to hide, which is basically what we're getting at is just kind of, like, um, sort of the facade that you put put on at various um, stages in life. And particularly, we were interested in the high school kind of like before you are able to come out kind of um, teenager sure. kind of thing. So it was like this good place to hide. And then um, we also learned Limelight by Rush. So. Lucy did that bass riff that was like, do, 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 do. Yeah. And we, we were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, and then I was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, it took like a year to write that song. Yeah. It very slow. <laughs> so it's good. Well, we like, never gave up on them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think that like having spent so much time on it though, that there's, there's not like a temptation during lockdown, especially to go back and, and work on these songs even more? I already went through that whole, whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's done. It's, it's done. done. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so listen, we're doing these videos because Jaguar Shoes and the Victoria, like loads of small venues around the world, I guess, are, are under threat. They, they can't be open because of lockdown and everything. Uh, and I wanted to ask sort of, how is that affecting the, the scene where you guys are? And in, in like, are your venues in the same situation? Yeah, I think it's yeah. probably happening everywhere, yeah. Sure. I've seen a couple of places like in uh, in New Brunswick. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's I happening. You know. Yeah. It's, it is a, a huge bummer, and I really hope that like there's some way that they'll be able to like stimulate the small business. Yeah. Economy or whatever, you know. Like you know, it's that it's just maybe it'll just reemerge as something you know even stronger. Sure. You know, yeah. like that's what you always are hoping. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, I wanted to ask, because obviously when bands are starting out, these are the kind of venues that they're, they're sort of cutting their teeth at. Do you yeah. guys remember your first ever gig as partner? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and like, how, how was that? Because obviously, like, this is where this is where you're learning things and you're trying stuff out. Like, how did it go? Well, it was just the two of us on acoustic guitars at an art gallery. Um, and so it was fairly low stakes. I think it was like our friend, <laughs> our girlfriend. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and like, we had been playing in each other. So everybody's kind of like, oh, Lucy and Jose have something to show us. Like, let's pay like $5 and go see the <laughs> So like, yeah, the stakes were low. It was fun. Um, we tried out a lot of like um, new things that we had wanted to try out. Yeah. Um, like audience participation. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were just like really um, eager to just like get like get funky. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is, I think that, we felt very entitled to do whatever we want. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's. We went to Montreal. That was a different story, but. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and then our first real, sh like our first show in front of like not our girlfriends, yeah, <laughs> only, um, was in Montreal, and it, we it was actually billed as um, Lucy's um, more like at the time famous <laughs> band, <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like we were we it was just like again us with acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and all the people that actually thought they were going to see our other band, they were like, oh, like <laughs> so wait, wait, you, you used your existing band's audience then, Lucy, to sort of bring people down to... That's not a bad idea, though, because they're still seeing you, right? Yeah. <laughs> they just sent a word. And, and, like, and, yeah, we played a few Mouth Breather songs, and then, like, three Mouth Breather songs, and then the rest, we... As a <laughs> yeah, like, now, we was basically, like, we did our, our like... <laughs> we altered our space in front of those random people who were like, so we were this band and now we're this band. And they're like, okay. And we're like, thank you. <laughs> I, th I think it was um, about two, two years ago this week, actually, or at least this month, where you came and played in London for the first time at, at the Victoria. Uh, do you remember much of that show or, or at least of that tour? Like, what was it like coming to the UK for the first time? Oh my goodness. It was awesome. Yeah. We and rolled in and went to Weatherspoons. <laughs> I think we went to Weatherspoons like 11 times while we were there or something. I had no say. Just like, like five times. <laughs> <laughs> the times that I could avoid. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Is it is it kind of stressful when you've got to take that show to, a, I mean, not just like a new place, but a new country, like you just sort of, I don't know, anticipate how the audience is going to receive it? it yeah, it's definitely, um, you just don't know what to expect. And like, it was, it was really cool, actually. Like the UK was we like, loved we loved it. Like we have like a couple, like I would say friends. Yeah. We made a few friends and, yeah. and like it was, definitely. I mean, like the scenery and everything was like unreal. I'm a big fan of like castles um, okay. and like medieval times, things like that. It's just like so yeah, it's cool. Nice. It's nice to get out of the city. Where, where was your sort of your favorite spot to play? Because you, you played sort of all around, right? Uh, yeah. But I mean, our show at the Victoria was a seriously a highlight. Like there was yeah. this like amazing crowd. Um, <laughs> And like Charm Pit really brought, Charm Pit was the band that we played with. Um, they they really brought it, like a, a cool energy. It was a very like, feminist energy. <laughs> yeah, and it was actually off the hook. Yeah. Yeah, it's, de it's, it's definitely a, a good spot. Like for, for London bands particularly and, and people coming through London, it's kind of like that space where you go to first. Yep. Um, did, when, when you loaded in, did you get caught out by the... Um, the bookcase oh yeah the secret entrance yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's so cool so like I, I i put nights on there as well and the amount of times i've had bands from out of town <laughs> send me a message when they've got their first like where are we playing like what are we just, yeah. like, do we set up next to the bar and it's like no no it's, it's there just, you just work your way back <laughs> it's a bit like harry potterish <laughs> yeah i'm sure that's the vibe they're going for <laughs> <laughs> but very cool very well, cool i mean hopefully we'll get to see you guys back in the uk at some point kind oh of soon. like when it's yeah. safe to do so when it's safe to do so exactly yeah we'll be back 
when it's safe to do so, you can't stop us. I'm going to ask you some like quick fire questions, although I'm not kind of <laughs> sure how, how that works over uh, Zoom, like how quick we can be. Okay, so first thing that comes into your head, don't think too much about it. Uh, Jose, what is your favorite cocktail? Ooh, um, mint julep. Good choice. Lucy, what is your favorite guitar riff? Oh, um, I'm going to say Sweet Child of Mine is the first one that popped in my head. Strong, very strong. Uh, Jose, what was your favorite childhood TV show? Oh, um, probably Ren and Stimpy, but then I wasn't allowed to watch it after my mom found out. Uh, Lucy, what is your favorite city? Oh, my favorite city? I'm going to say Goose Bay, Africa. My home. Yeah, go hometown pride. Jose, who's your favorite Canadian musician? Oh, <laughs> I'm just, I, I've got Tegan and Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, good. they're two people, but I mean. We, we can count that. It's a band. It's, 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 it's a band. Yeah. Cool. Love it. Tegan good and Sarah. Choice. Final okay. Answer. Okay. We'll try this one, both of you at the same time. Maybe this will work. What's your favorite partner song to play live? Honey. Yeah, right now, honey, good man. It's an un it's unreleased. Um, okay. Right now, sorry. Um, okay, can we try again? Does it have to be one that we? I mean, all... I mean, we can go with that. You can, you can. What can you tell? Can you tell me anything about honey? Like. Yeah, it's a song about um, my guitar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, this guitar that my um, my dad ran, like sent me in the mail unsolicitedly, and then it became. Um, my main guitar and so the song is about that and it's just like really rock so say no more if it really rocks that's all we need to know that's but all also, you need to know also what a nice surprise just like an unsolicited guitar in the post just like yeah <laughs> yeah well listen guys yeah. thanks thanks so much for doing this i really appreciate your time uh, yeah thanks so much take well, it thanks for having thank you. enjoy the rest of your day and yeah, uh, you as well. hopefully we'll see you in the uk at some point soon Totally. For sure. Care. Later, guys. Yeah.